Ooh. My gosh, what a day. This morning, I woke up like this. <sighs> Wait, what? So, apparently first, we get this Super Mario Party Online update that finally delivers an online update. Like, oh my gosh, I've waited for this because you can finally play Mario Party with friends online without even having to do like pair set because that's how I would try to do Mario Party with people. I would have to do like set up pair sec through a dolphin emulator and play like some of the old Mario parties through there. And I can't believe we finally get this because like this is really crazy. This was probably the best news I woke up to. Especially since this game was it is so old. This game is like two years old now. It came out in October 5th, 2018. No updates at all. None. Zip zat nada. No updates at all. I could not believe it. And Maybe there's hope that we're probably getting another Mario Party down the road. We'll have to see when E3 hits. But, let's see what a- But, there's more news I got to share. So for other news, Arc System just tweeted about the second beta for Guilty Gear Strive since, um, since the last beta in February, and it's been delayed to June 11th. So we will get another beta that will start from May 13th all the way to May 16th specific time and then um here there's more info of course because um if you check not only do we get to play as the other 13 characters we also get to play as Anji Mito and Eno the other two characters that were revealed before but they weren't playable in the beta but there's also more news about the uh open lobby because um everyone was like change the lobbies change the lobbies now Oh my gosh, I can't, I don't, if I had a dime for every person that was asking about, about the lobbies, oh my gosh, but here's what they said about the lobby, so, the player can now select the dual station to queue up for battles, after selecting a station, the player enters into a standby mode in a way to for an opponent. So, it kind of looks like the, um, the standby areas, like in, um, what is it? Like, basically for the for their other Arc System games, like, similar to, um, the Grand Blue and Blaze Blue cross-tag lobbies, where you wait there, and then when someone hops onto, like, that TV, you get, you both get to play each other, so, that looks good, I like that, and then let's see, yes, this is what I needed, a rematch function, because I want to run it back with people, okay, let me be clear, I don't want anyone to just be like, I got my match, I'm done, I'm, I'm not gonna run it back, I'm just gonna have people hold the L without giving them a chance to redeem themselves. <laughs> oh my gosh, but it also says in the rank tower you can rematch up to three times. Oh, so it's basically like a uh, best of seven in a way, or until players recommended four changes. Oh. So if you lose a few times while playing that same person, that could affect their rank, so you gotta be careful. In the open park, you can rematch. Oh, okay, so that's also good. Because you can do, basically do, um, that's gonna be helpful for tournaments, for online matches, of course. And then let's look at the, uh, battle balance adjustments. So it says, when the same move is used more than a set number of times in a combo, the, the opponent now falls more quick, quickly. Which... I th I've seen that before, of course, in, like, Mortal Kombat, when you, um, let's see, what's a good example? Um, like, Kung Lao Spin in MK11, let's go with that, where, um, after you use Kung Lao Spin a few times, like, when you, um, amplify it, the, the, the opponent falls much more quickly, like, um, after the third one, they immediately fall down, so, that makes sense, and then aerial actions in general have been adjusted. Adjustments vary for each character. Using aerials, attacks, double jumps, and air dashes now causes recovery on landing. Okay. And then the command normal forward punch has been adjusted to work as an anti-air attack. Adjustments vary for each character. Which makes sense because um, I think um, for a lot of characters they already did work for uh, 
anti-air similar to, uh, for an example, Potemkin's where he just claps his hands straight like this, which is his four punch, worked great as an anti-air. I like that anti-air. And then recovery time has been increased after blocking an attack while in mid-air. The overall balance has been adjusted. Yeah, I did hear that, um, Potemkin did get some nerves. <laughs> Uh, that's gonna be hard to play now. I gotta think now. But uh, let's see here. Um, online matches. They did say the process connections for online matches with rollback style netcode. Players can enjoy experience. Yeah, the force. And let's see. Yeah, that's all. That's all the news. But um, you, if you guys do have the beta, then. You can still play it, like, if you have the beta already downloaded and you saved it for the last one, you can, it will just automatically update, so you don't have to, um, pre-order to play it again. You could just, uh, play it, um, the, t the second it releases on May 7th, so that's gonna be fine. But, now, for the big one. I normally don't go into, like, these kinds of, like, rumors and leaks, but, like, everyone's just been going crazy about it, so I had to just, like give my spin on it because apparently the article says NetherRealm Studios, that's the people behind Mortal Kombat and Injustice, is reportedly working on a new Marvel fighting game. So that's interesting because the last one we've had of course as the article says is Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite and a lot of us were expecting an Injustice 3 which may still have it but we may probably get a Marvel fighting game. That could be very interesting depending on how that goes. Now seeing this as NRS is involved, it seems a bit hard to, um, to say that we may get another Marvel vs. Capcom 4 if we're possibly getting a Marvel only fighting game which might be tough because that is basically the stick um a legacy game for a lot of the fgc ever since like evo and just the entirety of it now seeing as a lot of people are throwing um marvel into this mix with nrs it's going to be hard to say that we may get a marvel versus capcom because um, th that's gonna be complicated because we haven't seen, like, an NRS or a, uh, Street Fighter mix, and not many people have said that's gonna be possible, so that's gonna be very hard. But seeing as how NRS is involved, I will like how they can build a story, because I love how NRS can do all the stories for Injustice 1 and 2, MK9, 10, 11, and e even the DC, e even the DC Universe one. I, I like the story in for it. I don't even care if people hated how it looked or the fact that it was rated T because like I had fun with the story mode. It was a really great story mode. So maybe we could get like a really great um, Civil War somewhat of a story or even an Infinity War at least. That would be really crazy to see them pull off for Marvel. Just to take a guess, I'm going to say we likely get an Avenger style fighting game and it will probably feature the original six Avengers from the movie, Spider-Man of course, Ant-Man, possibly a, maybe a little bit of X-Men at least, maybe like Doctor Doom and maybe Wolverine if, if I had to say the least maybe Wolverine if we're probably gonna do like um, an adventure style game just to include like a little bit of, of superheroes from Marvel just an idea for one to really blow my mind is which I really don't see happening but it would be insane if they are able to pull it off which is Mortal Kombat versus Marvel I, I'm not even sure the reaction, how big of a hype that would be. Like, I, I feel like I would just, like, scream my head off if that were to happen. Um, and I'm hoping that actually does, because, like, I want to go back to this video, Sam. Like, dang. 
that this will age so well like my gosh now to close the video um i want to put out this quick silhouette that snk just tweeted for the next kof character we didn't get one last week because they were featured showing off hibu Tane from samurai showdown who's also a guest character from the last blade 2 that will also be coming to samurai showdown but here's the next silhouette and my, i gotta say my guess is it probably gonna say it's Chris because we've already got Yashihiro and I forgot her name I um, it's like a what was her name what was her name oh my gosh I can't believe I'm not remembering her name right now it's hold up give me a second Shermie yes Shermie is Shermie because wait, we already got Shermie and both and that's the whole team I don't remember the name, I think it was like the new blood or something, but that's probably going to be my guess for tomorrow. But I hope you guys enjoyed this quick news bulletin video I'm putting up. I'm trying to change it up and do a bit more discussion videos, of course, because I'm starting to like doing them a bit more and um, they're really good to like engage and talk about a bunch more news topics. So thank you for watching and be sure to get one of these coldest water bottles remember to enter my giveaway and to use my promo code gen game to get 10% off so you can get one of these for a low discount price so thank you for watching and be sure to tune in for more guys see you guys